When it comes to your life See when it comes to your life Ah, ah See when it comes to your life I feel stay positive And every bit of happiness You know you have to keep yeah. Now bad minds, bad minds stay away And every bit of lesson in life In God's feet When it comes to the Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My channel. It is your girl Felicia Monique and I am finally here with my my first fashion video. This is spring and summer fashion and it's a huge Zara haul. If you're interested in seeing the great outfits I have put together, then keep watching. Most importantly, don't forget to like comment and subscribe press that subscribe button click that button and stay tuned for all the other videos that i have coming up next comment what is your favorite outfit what did you like about the outfit was it something that you like pair it together would you pair it differently together is it something that you want to go get put it in a comment also i will be linking everything that i can that's in this video in my description box so that you can get your hands on these fly items honey because what is the thing for this year don't play with her don't play with her when you come in flyer than a fly because that is my goal that we'll all be fly i know it's a difficult time for a lot of people i was feeling a little wary about even putting out this video i don't want anyone to feel less than or down or whatever if they're not able to shop as much as they used to if they're not able to you know get some of these items it's okay you can actually use what's in your closet make different fashion outfits and trends and you might want to add maybe a couple things but you don't need to go and buy a whole haul to look nice you know this is a very trying time and i get it this video i hope it's just taking in good light that i love fashion i just wanted to share some fashion scents there's also other stores you don't have to shop at zara to get some of these looks without further ado do, 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 do. Let's get into it, honey. Zara has gotten a lot of my coin in the past several months, but that's no here nor there. That's no here nor there. We're gonna start off with my first outfit and I am gonna be using my phone and some notes so that way I make sure that I am staying on track with each outfit and all of the details of the outfit. So this first outfit, this is gonna be called the green machine for me. It's the color blocking for me. Color blocking is in, matching to the T. You don't have to match no more. You can color block in honey. When the bright colors come together, it gives it a different look. And this look, it's giving boss bait. I stepped into the room, you see me, I'm here. You can wear this to a conference, you can wear this to your office, you can wear this to an important meeting, brunch, brunch with the girls, lunch date with your honey, lunch date with the girls, and you will leave lasting impressions with this outfit. You will turn heads walking down the street with this outfit. These two contrasts of the different colors of green and how bright they are and how vibrant they are. Wow, let's get into the details of this outfit, okay? First, I have on this Zara lime green sleeveless top. It's a basic knit top you can likely still find this on zara's website i'm just going to make a disclaimer i use a zara app i barely ever shop in the store because if you find something you may not find your size or there may be things that the store no longer has because it's sold out in the store but the app still has so download the zara app trust me you won't regret it and if there's something not in your size but it may become in your size in the future you can also put your email in there and they will let you know via email when your size and that particular item becomes available. And you can already have, if you want, your card information in there. So you can just click, 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 and boom, sent. Back to the outfit. Zara lime green sleeveless top. It's made of a cotton material and it's stretchy. It's really cute. You can pair this with these pants like I did. You can also pair this with jeans, skirt, shorts. Really cute. And I have these green pants. They're cropped and they have a crease in the middle, if you can see. And they also have front pockets and they're actual pockets. And then they have some false back pockets. And these are straight leg pants. And then this belt that I'm wearing, this stretchy belt, 
up with the gold embellishment on it. That is also from Zara. So the shoes, they're Mark Fisher and they're called the Feisty Pointed Toe Pump and they're in the color Light Natural. And I'm a little big for that. I'm like 5'8 and I have larger feet. I wear size 11 in shoes, 10 and a half to 11, but I got those in an 11 and they're really cute. You can pair them with a lot of things and you can wear them to the office. You can also wear them out. As far as accessories, the necklace that I have, that, that beaded necklace that you see, this is the Zara beaded tube necklace. It's like a fuchsia color. I just like how it gives an extra pop of color to the color blocking that we already have here with the green. The bracelet is from Zara. I have that on my right hand. And then in my left hand, I have a watch from Movado. The tote bag that you see, that's Marc Jacobs. Popular tote bag right now, and it's leather. It's really nice. You can pair that tote bag with pretty much anything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. But there's other places you can get tote bags from. It doesn't have to be Marc Jacobs, and it will still be fly, okay? And then this lace <laughs> wig that I have on, because clearly I don't have on a wig now, honey. I got it from a hair store. It is a human hair lace wig. I'm still trying to get into different hairstyles. I've cut my lock in the December. So this is all new to me. I had locks for 12 years, so it's been a while since I had to do my hair and think about different styles and switching it up. But, and then um, I also have a blazer on in some of the photos. And this blazer is a white blazer. It has some gold buttons. This is from Zara as well. Very cute. You can pair this blazer with a lot of different things. White for the spring and summer is always gonna be in. You know, it looks so pristine. It looks so classy. You can just dress up any type of outfit. So when you put on a white blazer, it's it's just giving boss lady. I'm here, you know, white party. You know, if you go party on the yacht, on the boat, all white. I'm telling you, this blazer will come in handy. Now white, you always have to be careful now. Cute. And then I have on two different types of shades. The shades that look more without the frame all around. Those are Gucci. I think I went to the store, they didn't have it, but the representative ordered it for me. Shout out to him for that. Um, these are really cute. I haven't spent this much on shades before, but these are really cute. I also have another pair of shades and they are the ones that's more of a square framed and framed all around. Those are by Free People. They're the light tan square frame shade. Listen here, Free People has some cute shades, okay? And they're like 20, $25. Check Free People out. Check out their shades. If you're trying to make fashion statement with shades, something different, something that sets you apart, Free People, check them out. And then the purse that I have in here, this like tan cream purse, that's from Zara. So most of it's from Zara. Next outfit, outfit number two. This is giving me Clueless. If you are an 80s baby, 90s baby, and you remember the movie Clueless, I'm gonna add a clip right here. Oh, tell me about it. This weekend he called me up and he's all, where were you today? I'm like, I'm at grandma's Dion house. and her boyfriend Murray are in this dramatic relationship. Yes, Clueless. One of my favorite movies because the fashion in Clueless was like out of this world. I loved how they dressed. I loved how cute they were. I loved just how dainty and mind you in high school because that was, they were in high school. I definitely did not dress like that. Definitely didn't have that money, the type of money that they had and their parents had. But it was so nice to see how different outfits that they had, how they put things together and just how cute they were. Super fly. And this outfit is just giving me clueless. You can wear this to Saturday versus Sunday brunch. I love brunch. So a lot of these outfits, I'm gonna say you can wear to brunch. If you love brunch too, let me know in the comments. Brunch with the girls, just a bougie vibe. If you trying to, you know, look like got some money cause something about this outfit is screaming to me like, yeah, who is that? <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. This texture vest dress is in turquoise. It's by Zara. This is really cute. I also have the Nine West Milano shoes and this is in the color lime green. They have multiple colors. If you go on Nine West website and look at the Milano sandals, they have multiple colors, but these are in the color lime green. I just think these two together with the turquoise and the lime green is just like super pop. It brings out both of the colors. The green brings out the turquoise. The turquoise brings out the green. I just think they paired great together. And then the purse, the off-white purse that you see here, that is by Carl Ledgerfield. First shades that you see in, the, in these pictures are by Ferragamo. And I actually got them from Nordstrom Rack. So please, if you like designer shades and you don't want to pay designer full price for the shade, check out Nordstrom Rack and check out Saks Off Fifth. Saks Off Fifth and Nordstrom Rack both get designer shades for 
half of the price or at least 40% off a lot of time. Um, the watch is from Movado, same watch from before. And then the necklace and anklets are from H&M, the bracelets from Zara. So these accessories are pretty much the same accessories except for the shade from my first outfit. And then this clutch that you see, this cute pearl clutch, that is from a brand called Le Regal. I believe that's how you pronounce it, but I got it from All Fifth Sex. All Fifth Sex has some really cute clutches, really cute. Things that you would want to have in your closet because you never know when you want to dress up an outfit, you're going out for a nice dinner or more upscale and you want to have a clutch, not a big purse or a tote bag or whatever may have. And then far as the shoes that I'm wearing, other than the Milano that I already talked about, these new shoes, these are from Nine West as well. They're called the Hankin Ankle Strap Platform Sandals and they're in the color Barely Nude. These do run a little small. Normally in Nine West, I get a 10 and a half to 11 in my like heel sandals or heel. These I had to send back and get an 11 and a half. The other shades that I'm wearing in these pictures are by Givenchy. The whole outfit, it's just giving. It's just giving for me. Outfit number three. This outfit is giving vacation vibes for me. Like it's giving the beach, it's giving I'm out with the girls, I'm on vacation. It's also giving maybe beach day, a, sh a shopping day, maybe going to the shore, you're going shopping. It's also giving brunch, you know, I'm going to say brunch. And it's also giving maybe a day out on the town. Now with days out on the town and you're doing a lot of walking, I would probably just switch out the shoes for some flats. That's just me personally. So let's get into it. So the printed shirt, this is from Zara and it looks like it's mostly red, but it has these white off cream flowers with leaves. I just love the printed satin shirts that Zara has. Our other places have them pretty little things. She and they're just really popular now, these printed satin shirts. So get your hands on some of them. It could really change the look of an outfit. It can dress up some jeans. It can dress up some shorts. These denim shorts, they're from Lucky Brand. They stretch, I believe they're like a mid rise. They stretch, they're cut off at the bottom as you can see, but they're really cute, really comfortable. And I love Lucky Brand denim, period. It is lucky for me. And then the white tank I have on, you can't really see it much, but this is from Banana Republic Factory Store. Really stretchy, really cute. You can pair white tanks with anything. These are just staple items that you need in your closet for the summer and spring for sure. And then this belt, just a regular belt, regular tan belt from Nordstrom Rack. And then the shoes, these shoes I was super excited to buy. I saw them on Instagram and this is a new brand. I didn't even know about this brand for me. It's by 12 AM Co. These are mules and they're heeled mules. The heel is not very high, but they're really cute and they're in this fox suede material. These shoes are giving. They have a certain look to them and I love them. Um, and then the tote, as you can see, is by Christian Dior. I actually got this tote last summer, but I just need to wear it more. I just want to pair it with different types of outfits. But um, And then the shades that you see, the initial shades, these first shades that you see in this picture are by Chloe, and they're actually from All Fifth Sacks. I went to the All Fifth Sacks in DC, and I feel like that one is better than the one that's closer to me as far as variety. I think they're super cute. They're just so fly to me. I don't know. I just, I love them. And then the earrings and necklace, um, are from H&M. This bracelet that I'm wearing is from All Fifth Sack. The small earrings that you see this in my uh, second and third air holes, they're from Banana Republic Factory Store. That you, they have some good fashion jewelry as well. And the watch is Movado. Then I switch out my sandals. And these particular sandals, they're from Nine West. They're black strappy sandals. They're called the Ailey Ankle Wrap Platform Sandals. They're really cute. I really think that they can be worn with a lot of different outfits and really just add something to your outfit. The other sandals that I have they're just flat sandals and they're by Christian Dior. So when I bought the bag, I bought the sandals. So sometimes, you know, you may want to match it up that way. You can do that too. I also show a different purse here. This is by Valentino. And this purse, this black purse with gold embellishment, this I got also from All Fifth Set. So I did not pay the original price that Valentino had charged for that. And the black belt is similar to the other belt, same brand, got from Nordstrom Rack. I think it's LP Blue or something. The shades, I did switch out the shade. And these black shades that you see with a little bit of gold on the side that's by Givenchy. Next outfit, outfit number four. This outfit I'm really loving and actually I'm already wearing the shirt from this outfit as you can see. This outfit, I just love the colors in this outfit. How bright they are, how vibrant they are. The printed shirts, again these satin printed shirts can really dress up an outfit. Completely change your look for an outfit. This outfit for me is giving brunch or hangout on a night 
nice sunny day, a cookout, gathering, even date night, lunch date, day date, hanging out in the city. It's just giving for me. I don't know, I just, I love how I paired the different, you know, the glasses, the shade, the shoes, the bag. It's just giving, okay? So let's get into it. This printed pattern satin shirt, it has bright colors as you can see, it has orange, yellow, green, pink, honey. All great colors for the summer and spring. This is from Zara. These high-waisted pink shorts, they're very cute comfy they have false pockets in the front they are also from zara the belt already mentioned from nordstrom rack these heel sandals these strappy heel sandals these are from nine west these are the hot ankle strap sandals in the color neon yellow so they have multiple colors and then the first purse that you see me wearing this is by mcm super cute purse you can wear that with a lot of different things and the first shades that you're seeing these cat eye shades they are by free people again don't sleep on free people when it comes to shade cute shade i love these shades they're just giving something like different. I like things that look different. I don't want to look like every single body else. Sometimes I know certain things are trending and yes, you want certain trendy items, but still try to give yourself your look, something unique to you. And then my jewelry is the same for the most part from the previous outfit. The green purse that you see, I switched out the purse. This is from Zara, super cute purse, super popping color. You can add this purse to any outfit. I'm telling you, color blocking. You don't have to be wearing anything with that color green, and that purse will still bring out your outfit. Zara is also good for cute purses. The shades that you see, not the initial shades, when I switch out the shades, they are by Desi, Desi Park, and these are the Backtrack Amber Honey Faded Shades, and they're super cute as well. And then I also switch out my purse, this cream small purse is by Zara. They also switch out the hills. Yes, these clear and gold hills. They're from Eagle Official. I didn't even know about Eagle Official until Instagram. Like a lot of brands that I'm learning about now is with Instagram suggestions. I know sometimes it's bad because I'm like, I should not be shopping. But sometimes you see some really cute things when for really good prices. So Eagle Official for those shoes. Super loving this outfit. It's definitely giving. I definitely feel like, you know, when I wear this again, you will, you know, get some questions. People will be like, well, where did you get this? I like how you paired that. And these are definitely great items to have in your closet that you can continue to wear, switch out, switch up with other things, um, make new outfits. Out Ladies, I hope that you like some of these items and that you can and will go get some of these items or redo these looks with somewhere else. You can do, you don't have to get it from Zara, but Bring out the printed colors, bring out the color blocking, bring out the bright colors this year. Don't be afraid to switch it up. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone when it comes to colors, putting colors together, just do it. I'm telling you, this summer and this spring, this spring and summer, it's the time to be different, stand out, and do you. Like seriously, do you. That's the end of the fashion portion of my video. Now, my last video, I did start talking about medical tips and I mentioned I will add some medical tips at the end of each video. I did get great feedback from that video where I did my medical tips on hypertension and I got a lot of good feedback in my comment section. So I said, hmm, guess we should keep this up. So if this is your first video that you're watching from me, I am a doctor, I'm an internal medicine physician, and I am not only licensed to practice, I am board certified in internal medicine. I work as a hospitalist in the hospital, meaning I'm the primary doctor in the hospital when a patient is admitted to the medicine service. I am their primary physician, and then I get consultants involved based on what we're treating and what we're managing. So a lot of things are dear to my heart when it comes to medicine, especially primary care things that we should stress more because a lot of patients come to the hospital for things that likely could have been managed or likely could have been prevented as far as complications if they had a primary care doctor. So today's topic is gonna to be on type two diabetes. So for type two diabetes, it consists of an array of dysfunctions, a lot of dysfunctions within the body that causes high blood sugars. Signs and symptoms. A lot of people do not have any symptoms when they have diabetes, honestly. But if you do have symptoms, some symptoms that a person may have, increased urination, they, they urinate more frequently, they have increased thirst, they have increased hunger, and they also may be losing weight. So all four of these things, if you're having 
increased urination, increased thirst, more hungry than you normally are, and you're losing weight, please get checked out by your doctor as far as seeing if you have diabetes. Also, some people may have blurred vision when their sugars are really high and their glucose is really high, it can blur your vision. Some people may have some pins and needles, tight feeling or tingling and numbness in their extremities or hands and their feet or legs. That can also be caused by diabetes and could be a sign that you, know, you have diabetes. Also, someone that has keep having recurrent yeast infections, that can also be a sign of diabetes. So there are three major criteria for someone to be diagnosed with diabetes. I don't want to get into too many details with it, but go over it with your doctor, but they will check your blood glucose. Indications for diabetes screening. This is so important in asymptomatic adults. So for adults that don't have any symptoms, who should get screened for diabetes? Anyone that has blood pressures greater than 135 over 80 and is sustained. That means your blood pressures stay 135 over 80 and or above, that person should be screened for diabetes. That's hypertension. So anybody that has hypertension and has been diagnosed with hypertension should be screened for diabetes, okay? So anyone that's overweight and they have one or more other risk factors, such as a first degree relative with diabetes, if their blood pressure is greater than 140 over 90, that's for sure, hypertension. If they're good cholesterol, which is HDL, if it's less than 35, or if they're triglycerides, which is one of the bad cholesterols, if that's greater than 250, that person and they're overweight should be screened for diabetes. The American Diabetes Association recommends that anyone that's over the age of 35, in the absence of any of the criteria I mentioned, should be screened for diabetes. So if you're 35 or above, over 35, you should be screened. But your primary care doctor should be screening you for diabetes. Management. So the goals of treatment are to prevent the complications of diabetes. So there's microvascular, meaning complications that diabetes has on organs that have really small vessels. And there's macrovascular, meaning complications of diabetes on organs that have larger vessels. So for the microvascular, it's like the eyes and the kidneys. The risk reduction through control of glucose and your blood pressure. So it's important to try to prevent someone from going blind and someone from developing end-stage renal disease that their diabetes is being managed. Also, macrovascular disease such as coronary, meaning heart disease, cerebrovascular, meaning brain and vascular disease, i.e. strokes, and peripheral vascular disease like in your arteries and your legs, which if there's significant vascular disease and not getting good blood flow that leads to amputations. Management of diabetes helps to prevent heart attacks, strokes, and patients to develop peripheral vascular disease in their legs and having to get their legs and their feet and their toes amputated. It's so important to prevent the macrovascular heart disease, strokes, peripheral vascular disease, and patients with diabetes that they also control their cholesterol, their blood pressures, and they stop smoking. There's also some recommendations for treatment of type 2 diabetes. Um, the main thing that as practitioners and as physicians we have to you know, keep in mind is to place the patient's conditions, desires, abilities, and tolerances at the center of our decision making when it comes to what are we going to use to manage and treat this patient's diabetes. Also, diet, exercise, and education is the foundation of the treatment of diabetes. Diet, exercise, and education. Where possible, all treatment decisions should involve the patient, as I mentioned, with a focus on patient preferences, needs, and volume values and a major focus on comprehensive cardiovascular risk reduction. It's so important because two thirds of patients with diabetes, the cause of their death is cardiovascular complications such as strokes, heart attacks, vascular disease. Approaches um, to prevention of diabetes complications include the following. Someone that's diagnosed with diabetes should have the hemoglobin A1C checked every three to six months. They should have yearly dilated eye exams. That's basically to look and see if you're starting to have effects of diabetes on your eyes and on your eyesight and to try to make sure if that's even a little bit happening that you need better glucose control to prevent that person or from going blind. Also, annual 
microalbumin checks. This microalbumin is a type of protein that the kidneys excrete and the kidneys are normally not supposed to excrete protein. It's not normal. So when that's happening and if it's happening in a significant amount, is a, a threshold number that they look at, then that shows that you're starting to have some effects on the kidneys from diabetes. And it's important to try to slow down those effects and prevent it from worsening because you don't want that patient and you don't want to develop end stage renal disease where you have to be on dialysis. Put examinations at each visit, at each doctor's visit. If you have diabetes, your feet should be being examined. That's important because with diabetes, effects on the nerves, especially in the feet, can cause you to not feel when you have a cut, when you have a sore, when you have a wound, when you stubbed your toe, and now you have a wound that you don't feel, that you don't look at, that you don't see, and it also affects the healing in your feet and in your body. So now you have a cut that you don't feel, and you're not healing well. That can cause infection to seep in quickly, and you're not healing well, and then that infection could spread to the point where you have to get amputation. So the point is to catch these infections and these wounds as soon as they're seen, to give you antibiotics, also to teach you and show you what to do as far as what type of footwear to wear to prevent these type of things from happening if you have diabetes. Um, and then statin therapies, these, these are medications to lower cholesterol. They're also important to reduce the bad types of cholesterol. Diabetes is also the major cause of blindness in adults aged 20 to 74 in the United States. And a lot of times it's because the diabetes and their blood sugars are not being controlled. And a lot of times either the patient doesn't know they have diabetes and all this time that they've had it, it's been already affecting their eyes or they know and they're not taking care of themselves. They're not following up with their primary care doctor. They're not getting the treatments that they need to lower their blood sugars. Diabetes also, particularly type two, is the leading contributor to end-stage renal disease, as I mentioned, and causing patients to be have to put on dialysis, renal replacement therapy. So the risk of having a heart attack in someone with diabetes is two to four times greater than someone that does not. And as I mentioned before, cardiovascular disease is the major source of mortality and death in patients with type 2 diabetes. About two thirds of people with diabetes die from a heart attack or stroke. So this whole talk was basically to tell you, and I hope I shared some key points, and most importantly, that you will get checked out for diabetes. Even if, if you're not having any symptoms, if you're 35 or above, you should make sure your primary care doctor is screening you for diabetes. And if you've had any of the symptoms I mentioned, increased thirst, increased hunger, increased urination, significant weight loss, get screened for diabetes. If you know you're overweight, you know your blood pressures are not controlled, get screened for diabetes. If you have first degree relatives with diabetes and you're overweight, get screened for diabetes. If you smoke, you have high cholesterol, you got high blood pressure, get screened for diabetes. It's so important. And make sure you follow up after your screening for your treatments and your management to make sure that you can prevent all of the complications. Okay, and make sure that you're also getting all of the preventative treatments, meaning the yearly eye exams, getting your feet checked, foot exams, at every visit, also on your cholesterol lowering medications, also getting your protein in your urine checked yearly. These are all important things. I hope this helps someone. Thank you for watching this portion. Thank you for watching my Auntie Lily's video. I love her fashion and I hope you like it too. If so, like this video and make sure you subscribe to see what she's doing next. Leave your comments too and make sure you have a good day and God loves you. Bye everyone. And let them know your name. <laughs> One more time, and my name is Morgan. Woohoo! Thank you, Morgan. No, so no. yeah, <laughs> that's my niece. So as you heard, as she said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share this video. Please press that subscribe button. I really am trying to reach my subscribers' goal, which is not high, so only 500, but I'm not there yet. I really hope y'all enjoyed the fashion in this video. I hope that y'all would want to and try to re recreate some of these looks. No matter what, if this is 
not a great time for you. I know it's a very financial and just difficult season the past several years and especially even now too with inflation and increases in prices of everything. So clothes and buying new clothes may not be the main focus for a lot of families, for a lot of people. So if that's you, please don't feel discouraged. This video is not to discourage anyone. I really just hope that you will try to recreate these looks with whatever you have in your closet or anything that you can afford to add to your closet to just make you feel good. I really believe when you look good, you feel good. So all in all, be encouraged. Like, comment, subscribe. Felicia Monique. Also, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on the gram at Felicia underscore Monique underscore. Felicia underscore Monique underscore. I also post a lot of my fashion there. My reels are also on there. So definitely check me out on Instagram and follow me there too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay blessed. Do, 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 do. I'm out.